Hey guys, it's Axel Bunny Rabbit, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy bunny sushi. For your sushi, you're going to need one peeled and washed carrot, one washed piece of celery, some kale, a washed tomato, and at least half of a washed cucumber. I'm going to start my sushi by using a cutting board, my cucumber, and a sharp knife, and I'm just going to cut thick pieces of cucumber about this thick. I'm going to be making two pieces for my rabbit today, so... Now, using a spoon, I'm going to be using like a miniature spoon, but you can use a regular one. I'm just going to um, go around where the seeds are and start cutting that with my spoon. And then get it out. Now I'm going to the same the other piece. And once you get it out, you can just like um, get all the other extras too and make it more of like a circle. And empty it out just like that. Now taking my celery and my knife, I'm going to cut about two pieces of celery off the stick and then I'm going to cut those in half. Pull it to the side and grab your carrot. I'm going to be doing the same with the carrot, but I'm going to just be doing the same. Put your carrot to the side and grab your tomato. First I'm going to cut my tomato in half, then in half again, then in half again, and just keep cutting in half until you have pieces around the same size as your carrot and celery. Take all the things you've cut in the cucumbers and assemble your sushi. taking your rabbit's food dish, um, this is my rabbit's vegetable dish, and your kale, you're going to want to cut up your kale into pieces about this size, and then I'm just going to lay them on the edge of his food dish. Kind of like that. You can just rip pieces to make it fit better. So once your kale is laid in your food dish, you're going to want to take your um, pieces of sushi and place them into like the bowl, kale bowl, and now you're done. If you want, you can also um, peel your cucumbers so it doesn't have the skin. Personally, I think it's just perfectly fine for my rabbit to eat the skin, um, but you can always peel um, the skin or um, take the skin off of it. You can always substitute the vegetables I use in mine. You can also always use watermelon, bell pepper, um, stuff like that instead of the things that I made. And you could also make like a treat sushi where you could take a cucumber and then fill it with like banana and grape and apple. And I'm sure your rabbit would love that as a treat. This is more like um, his daily vegetable serving. So that's why I didn't use treats.